Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial video. So if you're here, you're trying to figure out how to transfer from your old hard drive to a newer SSD or you're trying to transfer from a smaller one to a bigger one, um, you're going to need three tools. You need your MacBook or iMac or whichever Mac you're using, uh, one USB to SATA adapter. You could use something like this, which just hooks up any external drive. It doesn't matter the size as long as it's a SATA. Or you could use a hard drive enclosure, which you can put a two and a half inch hard drive into here and uh, that's pretty much it in terms of tools. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it without loading into Mac. We're just going to do it straight from the disk utility tool from uh, OSX's kind of like emergency boot partition. Um, we'll go ahead and flip the screen now and I'll show you what I mean by that and how to get to it. Basically you just turn on your laptop or desktop whichever you have and hold down the power command and R button at the same time and you just hold it until basically you see the Apple logo pop up. There we go. So you see the logo now and uh, basically you just let it load into the screen and through some more magic of editing we're going to go ahead and skip ahead and uh, it will load into the recovery page for the OSX um, command. Now that we're in the Mac OS, uh, OS utilities page you're basically going to want to go down to disk utility all right, and then hit continue and let me change the zoom in right here and it's gonna take a minute or so depending on how old your Mac is sometimes it loads instantly sometimes it doesn't give it about oh okay in this case give it about a minute maybe 30 seconds depending on how it is um, and basically once you're here you'll see an internal drive and whatever externals you have in this case we have two externals because I have uh, two test drives to show you guys with I've already transferred the data from this H, uh, the Macintosh HD internal to the A data over here. So we're going to do the example with the uh, internal in case you guys bought one of the internal drives. Both are very uh, straightforward and the exact same process. You would go to whichever drive you have. In this case, this is the new media inside the internal, uh, or sorry, external ex exclosure. And um, basically you would hit erase first and you would select Mac OS X extended journal name it Macintosh oops HD and hit erase make sure you back everything up on a drive if you're uh, using a spare one or something laying around in case you know you want to keep it and it will unmount the disk, one of the external disks, and basically um, complete that. And you're going to hit done. And the next part, you're going to actually unmount whatever drive that you want to transfer the data to. And once that's done, you're going to also check that the Macintosh internal drive is also unmounted. And when you're ready, you go to the drive destination, which is the external, hit restore, and you're going to select um, the internal drive. Now, you'll know it's an internal versus an external drive if you see the orange looking icon. So this is the OSX base system. This is where the utilities are in the, in the Mac that's built in. So you're not going to select that. This Macintosh HD is actually this A data drive. I've already transferred the files, so that's why it's there. So actually it's a good indication to show you which one is not the right one. And then the internal one is the one that has the silver icon. So you're gonna make sure you wanna select that. And then when you're ready, you hit restore. And it's gonna validate the sources, um, validating target. And if you do everything correctly, it should just take a few minutes to a couple of hours depending on how many or how big your drive is. Uh, once it's finished, I'll show you guys what to do after. So for now, we're going to leave it for about a couple of seconds so you guys can see the next um, validation process. And once it starts transferring, then I'll go ahead and cut it and uh, show you guys the next part. Alrighty, and then uh, we're finished with the transfer. All you need to do now is just validate that it works. All you got to do is hit done. And uh, you're going to go ahead and mount the external drive, uh, the orange one. 
and you can go ahead and go to startup disk on the top left and it sometimes gets hidden behind here you wait for the disk to populate and once it's populated you want to make sure you hit Macintosh HDV external and hit restart And if everything works correctly, you'll go ahead and boot into OSX. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.